prized for their export value to Asian markets, sea cucumbers are especially important to coastal Pacific Island communities. After being collected from the sea, these taxonomic cousins of starfish and sea urchins are cut, gutted, salted, cooked and then dried into an exportable product called beche de mer. Unfortunately, fishers often lose the potential income they could make through poor post-harvest processing. Consequently, more sea cucumbers need to be collected by the fishers to meet their economic needs, which contributes to the widespread problem of overfishing. In order to develop information sources for the fishers about processing methods and to improve supply chains, a scoping study was needed to describe current practices and opportunities. In this project funded by the Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research through an initiative called PARDI, the Pacific Agribusiness Research and Development Initiative, we're looking at helping Pacific Island fishers in the processing of these sea cucumbers for trade and export to China. In this project, we're trying to find out what the needs of the fishermen are, how they're processing, which of these sea cucumbers they're collecting, and what value they're getting from it. And afterwards, we hope to do a future project to give information by way of booklets and training courses to the fishers in the best ways of processing so that they can make more money from the sea cucumbers. If the products, the sea cucumbers, are not cut properly, gutted properly, cooked to the right specifications, or dried well enough, the price goes down about fourfold. For good processed sea cucumbers, the price can be quite lucrative to both the fishers and the buyers. We will also be looking at improving the value chains and supply chains of these sea cucumbers from the islands in the Pacific in Kiribati, Fiji and Tonga to Chinese markets to improve the value that fishers can get from selling these and exporting them from the countries. The main mem, the raw mem, no? Hey, no. Do you ever collect the tewaura? Tewaura. If you don't get tewaura, me shaka na na. If me na yon wai wai, na siput shaki tata bit na na. Ay pun ngaran kada di tani na na. Yes. Doesn't collect it. What about um the take nim nim? Ajaga nim nim. Oh, ina wat, ina wat. How do you dry them? Do you dry them in the sun or do you use smoke over a fire or in an even oven or how, how do you dry them? If the, the, the sunlight is very strong, 
What we're finding is that a lot of these sea cucumbers either haven't been cut properly, sometimes been burnt by the local fishers during the, the drying, or sometimes overboiled, leaving a fairly pale appearance, and all of these decrease the price of the sea cucumbers for both the fishermen and the buyers. We're finding a high dependency on the sea cucumbers. Most of the fishermen that we've interviewed ranked sea cucumbers as their most important economic source for the family. Here on Onatoa in the Kiribati, the fishermen are collecting quite a wide range of sea cucumbers and processing them for export to China. We're finding more and more that these high value species like this prickly redfish and a black teat fish are becoming less frequent in their catches. And what is becoming frequent are these lower value species, the lolly fish, which are now dominating exports. Processing these sea cucumbers to a high standard for export to China may help the fishermen to have to fish less of the resource and spend more of their time into high quality processing of the high value species. <laughs> 